Hey, glad you could join me. My name is Doug. My uh, channel's name is Music for Fun and Health. And I'm going to be starting a little video series here um, with myself playing different musical instruments that I either haven't ever played before or have very little experience with. Um, I find myself, uh, music is like a therapy for me. So what I'm going to do is uh, just play these, these musical instruments, um, show you guys that you guys can learn at any age as well. So today we're going to start with this instrument here. So this is called a steel tongue drum. Now the steel tongue drum, I'll give you a little bit of history on it. Um, it actually has a forerunner and it was made of wood. The wooden ones were used in uh, ancient um, Indian, Mayan um, cultures like that. They were made out of hollowed out logs and they had uh, the tongues on these ones. You can see that the tongues are carved out and so the wooden ones also have them carved out. Uh, they use them more for uh, rituals, uh, entertainment, and if the acoustics were right, they could use them for communications. Um, you know, especially at the bottom of say a riverbed or something, um, when, when the tones were struck, they could hear them from quite a ways away. Now, this particular instrument, the steel tongue drum, it's rather new as far as instruments go. Um, it's maybe about 30 years old and um, these began uh, in, in their existence by uh, being hollowed out um, propane canisters. Now what they would do is they would, you know, take all the paint up, they'd strip it down, they'd carve it out and then the, the tongues would be cut out, so on three sides. So. When it gets struck, the, the tone inside is trying to get out through this little tongue here. So, produces a really nice sound. Uh, people are starting to use these drums more for uh, therapeutic use. So, it's sound therapy, um, you can meditate. They produce a really nice resonating tone that you can just kind of meditate to. So, I'm going to take a look at this. Um, what I found is uh, this particular one Tracy bought for me off of Amazon. They're very popular on Amazon. You can get uh, all different num numbers of tongues. Um, you can get them tuned to different keys. So this particular one, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven tongues. Okay, and the tongues are labeled they have these little sticky labels on and the tongues are labeled so they start at uh, one down here in the corner one two three four five six seven and they have a one with a dot over it which means a higher note and they have a five six and seven with a dot under it so that means a lower note so what I'm gonna do for you here uh, I've had this since Christmas. I haven't played around with it too, too much, but I have learned a couple of songs on it. So this week I will uh, show you a couple of the songs and then what I'll do is uh, I'll practice for a week and see if I can get any better on it and uh, see what we can do from there. So the first song, uh, the story behind this first song, of course, is probably one that many of you know. Um, my mom was an avid watcher of The Sound of Music. And uh, that being said, we had to be avid watchers as well. So we watched it hundreds of times. And the, the one song in it where she's teaching the Von Trapp children how to sing, because they've never sung before, um, she takes uh, an octave of notes and she gives each one a name. And then she goes through and teaches them how to sing. Now... In the case of this particular steel drum, I'm going to do the same thing. And I've predetermined that this steel drum is tuned in the key of C, which means no sharps, no flats. So now when I play the first note, that's going to be a C. That's the root note of the C scale. So um, the scale is simply like this. 
C E E F G A B C. So why don't we do what uh, Fräulein Maria would do and start at the very beginning? It's a very good place to start. Of course, everybody recognizes that as Do Re Mi. One of the very first songs uh, I learned probably when I learned uh, any instrument, uh, because as long as you can find that scale, you can pluck notes out of the scale and you can learn different songs. So that's kind of how most teachers would start teaching their students. Now, uh, I'm going to be my own teacher. I'm going to learn a lot off of uh, other YouTube videos. Um, yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. So I'll play one other one that I've kind of figured out here. sunshine. So those are just a couple of the two little fun songs that I've picked out for the steel tongue drum. Uh, we'll give it a week. I'll do a little bit of practicing. Maybe I can come up with a more complicated song. Um, if not, I can get a little better at the ones that I'm playing. And then the next week after that, maybe I'll pick up a different instrument and, and see what I can do with that. So Guys, uh, the way that I'm going to do this, I'm doing this more for myself, but I also, I think that music is a wonderful thing to share. What I want to do is, uh, I want you to subscribe to the channel. I want you to listen to the videos, of course, and like them. I also want you to share them out to whoever you want. I really like the fact that my music could get out there and provide smiles for somebody else because we all need smiles. Uh, today's world is getting a little dark and everybody needs to smile more often. So if you would do that for me, and uh, yeah, that would be great. And uh, if you would join me back here in another week or so and uh, see how far I've come with the steel tongue drum. So until then, I'd like to say keep smiling and we'll see you next week. Bye now.